Hey, good morning. I'm from my deck in sunny Hawaii, and it's pretty good. And there's nothing like a good sunshine and a little sitting around to get you to get through your projects really fast. I finished these the day I arrived. They are done. Um, I do have some, and you're going to get good light, but I thought you would rather see palm trees and have my face be a dark than see a sliding glass door and have a light face. Maybe I'll do half and half for you, okay? Um, the time between my starting these mittens and finishing these mittens, my tension changed. And I've heard lots of people talk about that. I've never actually had too much of trouble with it before, but apparently I do now. So um, I have one smaller and one larger mitten. I'm pretty sure over time that'll even out. I'm going to ha have <clears throat> my husband David put on the mittens so that we can see how they look on hands because I can't hold the camera and look at hand and put mittens on my hands at the same time. They're not really useful tools in life, but I'm going to flip you around. Let's see if they fit his giant hands because I say he has paws, not hands. So let's see. Oh yeah, they fit him. I'm pretty sure they would. They fit him better than they fit me because on me, they're loose paper bags. So apparently my husband has new mittens. All right, here we go. I'm gonna flip your, there we go. Mittens. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, put it down, because that's not the most attractive side. Although the A and C's look really good from here. Flip your hands down, down, there we go. So we got reindeer, we've got the um, global motif from the furthermost north point of Norway. And then on the palms, we have A and C all over it because it's Arne and Carlos mittens. There we go. I knew I wasn't going to get those mittens as soon as I started because they looked really big. Um, <coughs> sorry, I had to cough. It's very early for me. I just got up, so you're getting morning from me. Uh, so Tony started working on her wrist warmer. She didn't go for the full-on mitten. She went for the wrist warmer. I, if I remember correctly, when we were on the cruise, we had three choices. We had a very simple design of wrist warmers. We had some color work with wrist warmers, and then we had the full-on mittens. I started the mittens, but probably shouldn't have. Not that I don't have the capability, but I don't have the attention span. And that's pretty much why I stuck it, put him down and didn't touch him again. It was really hard to concentrate and talk to people on the boat and look at scenery and so on and so forth. I needed to concentrate and I was never really alone on the boat. So I think I got about two thirds of the way through one mitten, but they're done. They're finished. I'll show you the size difference. That's quite, could you feel the size difference, David? Okay, good, because this is pretty obvious. I'm gonna flip it around and show you the size difference. So I'm gonna turn them this way. All right, let's flip this. Oh, look, you can see me better this way. There, see the difference? But they're identical. I may have done an extra row on the cup, but the rest of it's down to tension. Now, I will confess that I, um, change needles, so that could have something to do with it. On the smaller mitten, I used um, some Chai Gu, probably 47 inch length needles, so I could magic loop it. And I can tell you, huge difference, magic looping versus double points for the whole needles. They were a pain in the butt with double points, and it was much easier with magic loop. I do think if it had been a regular pattern, that stitch markers would have helped too. Didn't use them, but um, they would have helped. Color work, always, always, always. Stitch markers, magic loop seems to be a much easier methodology for me anyway. Um, after, after I finished them, I threw them in the sink and washed them. With, I didn't use soap because, you know, I just did them in the sink with as hot a water as I could. Um, Wadged them about, about, around a bit because you do want the inside of these to felt and get those floats to hold back. And they do easy with wool anyway. And then I laid them out on a bathroom towel side by side and flipped them the next day. They have been drying for two days. They're still a little damp. All right, I'm going to switch sides so we have better light now. All right, that's better. The light's better, isn't it? But you don't get as good of a view. Before we, I'll get you, before we're done here, I'm just going to scan the view from my patio. It is really nice to have a patio in this weather. We've spent pretty much every evening out here. And we don't have, we've got the cheap room, so we have mountain views, but it's plenty of a view. Um, up on the hill, and I don't know if you'll get to see it when I scan it, there's Norf a Norfolk pine forest, 
And you know those trees they sell at the department or the grocery stores? Fred Meyer, I know, always has them. Those little trees that you can buy at Christmas time that look slightly tropical. And I, I know I used them for a Christmas tree a couple of years when I was poor and single and in college. Um, that is here. They have a Norfolk pine forest here, and they can actually cut those trees down. And in the lobby, they had carvings out of Norfolk pine, which I think is super cool. Um, there's the forest is off to the right, and then you can see really some delineated trees from the distance. We're gonna get a car uh, tomorrow, and yeah, tomorrow we're gonna get a car. So we'll drive out, and maybe we can see the forest. But all in all, it's been great, and I'm getting lots of projects done. Uh, my next project is the shopping cart thing, the shopping cart protection, germ protection thing. So I've brought it with me and I've got a needle and thread. So I'm going to start hand sewing that together. Could do it so much faster on a machine, but I'm here. I have no machine. I'm going to do it by hand. And you know, I've got butt time and car time coming up. So I also started an embroidery project, which is a new project. And I have my super secret project, which I sort of finished, but I got to back out and finish again. I think I'm going to do that today. Anyway, unfinished projects. We have one done. And uh, I don't think I said it before. I said Tony was working on the wrist warmers, but I don't think I said I put that. I'm going to put that up. So those wrist warmer warmers in progress of Tony's are going to go right here, so that you can see their progress. I'll have to remind myself again. I think I don't know what the motif is on those. I think. The wrist warmers have the, the reindeer and the world, but they don't have the A and C. But I don't know for sure. I'll have a look. And Tony, tell me in the comments what your what designs are on your wrist warmers. All right, keep the uh, itchy. Keep the comments coming. Keep the projects coming. Remember, you can email me, message the Twisted Pico, mess, put it up on Instagram, all different kinds of places. Tell me about your unfinished projects and tell me the story behind your unfinished projects. They all have one. All right. I will see you on, I don't know why I can't remember what, Monday. I'll see you on Monday. Bye.